Today is the first day of school and here to share how to keep the excitement going all year long is Dr. Willow Jenkins, pediatric psychologist from Rady Children's Hospital. Thank you so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. Well, first day of school, I feel like it's it's always exciting, right? For many yeah. of the children. However, there are some, you know, first day jitters, maybe a little bit of nervousness. How can parents help their kids with that? Well, I think you're so right to acknowledge that first day nerves are pretty normal. Kids have them, parents have them. So letting your child know they're not alone with it. Having a really nice calm morning, maybe have their favorite breakfast can be helpful. And then changing that anxiety into anticipation can be helpful. So maybe they're looking forward to seeing their classroom or seeing a buddy they haven't seen from the school year. So shifting focus to those things so it's a little bit more excitement than anxiety oh can gosh. be helpful. I'm thinking of a friend. She has a daughter who's going into yes. pre-K this morning. So it's a big deal and there were a lot of tears even last week so I feel like all of that feeling like, like oh my gosh I'm not gonna get to see mommy what do you do in those instances well I think in that case it's so key for the parent to try to stay calm and confident right. about the decision too because your kids read you so well right? <laughs> um, and yeah and with the little ones that are nervous preparing as best you can role-playing even what it could be like there's okay. some great back-to-school books you can read and talking to the school maybe getting to go in and visit it ahead of time can be really helpful to alleviate some of those fears right okay it's this is back to school jitters that we're talking yeah. about but when we think about the school year I mean we've got what nine months out of the year that they're for the most part they're in school yes. and so how do we keep that excitement going all year long well, I think everybody wants their children to have a successful year. Mm -hmm. So starting with a routine and getting back into that routine can be so helpful. Regular meal times, family meals, getting that bedtime, limiting those screens that everybody's been using so much right. this summer, getting those put away. Um, and then also here in San Diego, we have so many amazing activities we can get our kids involved with, but don't over schedule your kids. Schedule downtime just as much. It is so important for children ah. to be able to have rest. So value that as much as the baseball practice, as much as the after school choir. Uh -huh. Make sure oh, you get that point. in. that's a good point. Oh my gosh, rest is very important. And when we check in with our kids, sometimes we, we as, mm -hmm. as we know, when they get older, you know, it's like, how was your day? <laughs> Fine. <laughs> How do you suggest that we check in with them throughout the school year? Well, first, make sure you get a habit of it. Have a regular time, even if it's just for you. Okay, Thursday afternoons, I check in with my child. But make sure you ask open-ended questions, but questions where the answer can't be yes or no. Ah. So what was the best part of your day? Uh-huh, doesn't work for that. So that can be a nice way. And just make sure you're picking the right time for your kid, too, and asking them, like, when's a good time to talk? Because no one likes to be bombarded when they're not yeah. in the right headspace. I like that you say have a routine, so it's almost like it's expected. And yeah. they know, oh, my gosh, I have to tell mom about this. I have to tell dad about this or something of that nature so they can kind of even. Yeah, you uh, get into a habit okay. and just a regular thing. And it doesn't have to check in about anything. It doesn't just have to be school. How's sure. your friends? Absolutely. What's yeah. And that's so important. Oh, OK. Um, and then for the parents, OK, I know I go, I go back to my friend because you said she has to remain calm and she told me she said I think the hardest part is that I have to keep a straight face I'm like oh you know it's gonna be great but she's really struggling internally because for her this is her her first you know her first baby who's oh. going to school so what about the parents who are struggling about their kids going back to school I know well I've certainly been there and so <laughs> definitely being calm and confident like we said but also remember there's opportunities to get involved with school you can volunteer you can be in the classroom so if that's helpful and then also just making sure you're filling your time too. If you had your summers off with the kids, that's amazing, but maybe it's time to get back into some other activities as well. Sure. So, and you're not alone. So many parents have a tough time setting those little ones off. Listen, I know for some it can, it can be a struggle, but I also know for many parents, they're very happy that it is back to school. <laughs> Oh, we need a little bit of help, and I can certainly understand that. Uh, doctor, thank you so much for being here this morning. These were all great tips. Thank oh, you. Okay. okay. Well, speaking of back to school, we will be right back, so don't go anywhere. <laughs>